हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द डिवाइन किचन दिस इज अर्शना टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक कीश दिस रेसिपी इज लोडेड विद लॉट ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फॉर मेकिंग दिस रेसिपी वी नीड दीज इनग्रीडियंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर द डो हियर वी आर टेकिंग वीट फ्लावर एड द बटर एंड सॉल्ट मिक्स वेरी वेल afterward add the water make the nice dough and after finishing this dough apply little amount of the oil on the top of the dough and leave this dough to rest for 10 minutes afterward we are going to add the water in the corn starch make the smooth paste while dough is resting we will make the sauce heat up the oil in the pan when oil is warm add all the dry spices next tomato paste after roasting the tomato paste for 2 minutes add the corn starch paste roast two more minutes in the medium low next add the water afterward salt next corn chopped asparagus vegan mozzarella cheese mix nicely let it boil for 5 minutes now our sauce is ready let's move on to the next step first grease the baking pan it is time to roll down the dough roll down the dough approximately 12 inches of the size Now roll down the sheet on your roller pin as I am doing here just follow this step spread nicely sometime it gets broken also so don't worry you can just press toward the wall as I am doing here and the remaining stuff you can cut with the help of the scissor afterward let's bake this for 15 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit It has been 15 minutes. Let's check the oven. It is baked nicely. It is time to arrange the things. First, we are going to pour the sauce. Afterward, all the vegetables. The way I am arranging it, you can follow the same way. Just want to share one thing whenever you are using the asparagus either for the pizza or for the quiche use the top part like approximately 3 to 4 inches of the size afterward asparagus is little hard so i use that hard part when i was boiling the sauce after arranging all the stuff spread little amount of the salt so it will help all the vegetables to cook nicely now it is time to cover the pan for that i am going to use the three toothpicks inside of the sauce and then on the top of that i am going to cover with the aluminum foil so after covering this thing i am going to bake again for 15 minutes at the 350 fahrenheit now it has been 15 minutes let's check the keys Now quiche is ready. Before cutting the quiche, make sure it should be cooled down. Please let me know your thoughts or questions in the comment box. Enjoy.